understand each other. You have to know each other. How a woman is made, how a man is made. What are you watching? Atmosphere of love. Coming up on Atmosphere of Love. Jesus never thinks that the church is using his name too much. Hello? Jesus never thinks that the church is bigger than him in, on, in the world. So you are just kissing, romancing, and loving, looking into his eyes as though you are young, even if you are old, you know, and talk to him the way you should sit close to him, hold his hands, wrap him around. Atmosphere of love. How much would a husband adjust in a relationship? Very, 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 very good question. How much should the husband adjust in a relationship? How much should the husband adjust in a relationship? How much should the husband adjust in a relationship? First thing that we have to look at here is uh, uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 23. Let's see Ephesians chapter 5.23. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and is the savior of the body. Mm. Verse 25. Husbands, love your wife, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. As much as uh, Jesus adjusts, that's how much the husband should adjust. Jesus adjusted to death. Yes, Jesus adjusted to death. That's a good, uh, this thing. But that is not to say that the wife should not change. But the question here is, I'm just giving answer to the question. How much should a husband adjust in a relationship? As much as Jesus adjusts with the church okay fine but first of all before you ask about how much should a husband adjust to your relationship make sure from your point your side or if you are whatever you are doing is right i mean your stand is right you hope you are doing all your responsibilities that hope your uh, duties uh, are not uh, that way you are doing are not affecting your wife and now you are saying how to adjust because she's just talking like this or shouting like this or whatever and then expecting and then saying that how much should I adjust to her? No. If you are on the ground, you are on a side where you are right and you are doing not right according to your own mind, right according to the standard of the word of God. And uh, uh, you are right and you are doing all your responsibilities as a man has to do and as a husband has to do towards his wife. Only when you have done that and then you can ask this question, how much to adjust? Because if she has a problem, then we can answer how much she should adjust. Because you are now pointing here only at her. And you are not, uh, we don't know idea about you here in this question. Now, if you have anything to contribute, I have a lot, a lorry load here. I want to go to the next one. <laughs> if you have something to contribute, you have to say it. Anyone, you just lift your hand and they will get the mic to you if you have something to contribute because you say how much should the husband adjust in a relationship how much as much as Christ does now it, it, that's a little uh, um, the person has a husband so I'm going to focus on husband but it applies to husband and wife so but uh, uh, if you put Jesus as your example Jesus relationship with church as your example you are going to be a very wonderful husband. Very, very wonderful husband. If Jesus' relationship with the church is your example, very wonderful husband. Jesus never thinks that the church is using his name too much. Hello? Jesus never thinks that the church is bigger than him in, on, in the world. See, 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 see. Everywhere they go, they say church, church, church. They, they don't call my name anymore. Jesus, the, Jesus is not interrogated. Jesus is not? He's not. It's not. I was very shocked when I got to find out that a lot of uh, husbands, they feel very bad if they earn less financially. 
they feel very bad or they feel very bad if uh, they provide less. I mean, don't get interrogated by that. You have been made head over your wife. You have been made? Head over your wife. Mm. Whether she is president of India, when she crosses your doorpost, she carry all the brochure and all the office work and keep it by the door, she goes and makes a party. Correct? 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 At home, she is a mother, she is your wife. In India, she is president. Bless her, darling. Her. Why are you bothered about that? You can be a liberal, she can be a president, who cares? She comes home and behave. She comes home and behave. Most of these things start from the proposal itself. Things should be clear. From the proposal, things should be clear. When you are being counseled, things should be very clear. What is your priority? How your home should be run? That is very clear. Uh, so, if, I think there is no contribution, so I just have to go ahead. If you have contribution, you lift your hand and say your contribution. All right. I have another question here. Wife is not cooperating in spiritual things. I am changing. I want a message that will help both of us to change. So fair he is, this person who gave this question. So fair he is. I could know because he said wife is not cooperating. So this must be a husband. Wife is not cooperating in spiritual things. So well, wife is not cooperating in spiritual things, honey. How to flow? Because uh, in my case, it's going to be very difficult for me because I didn't marry long nose and straight legs and uh, yeah, and uh, some color. I married a heart. I married a, a woman who's obedient to God. So when that obedience is not there, only God can give me patience. I will just want to turn my back. Because if it is spiritual things. But then, that's human. That's what? Human. We should take Jesus as our example. What does Jesus do when the church is not cooperating spiritually? As a matter of fact, the church is not cooperating spiritually. The church is not. This one preaches one, that one does this, 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 I'm Roman Catholic, this, I'm Pentecostal, that's I'm charismatic, this, say Jesus died, and this, say it's 25th of December, the other one says it's not 25th of December, we don't celebrate Jesus' birth. How would Jesus go along with all this? Uh, so, uh, spiritually, the church is in a very uh, bad shape in the sense of all these doctrinal differences and segregation, denomination, and all these things. But Jesus, yet, yet, Jesus is cooperating with the church. Uh, hope here, the, uh, the, uh, the person who gave this question, hope he is uh, cooperating in natural things. Because naturally, first of all, in a marriage, it starts naturally. Because you are seen physically yes. and all that. So hope you are doing naturally your responsibilities. Because you're not doing your responsibilities naturally and she's offended by one way or the other no matter how spiritually you're going and you want to pull her she will be going what to zero what kind of responsibility what kind of responsibility for example whatever she must be might be expecting first like kisses all, like, no first of all on, no. <laughs> no on the whole loving on the whole in love all things are possible if you are really truly loving your wife the way she expects you and she feels love then I think she will be able to go any mountain with, together with you. Am I right? Yes. She will be ready to climb any Your wife mountain. Saying, yes. Because so spiritual uh, prayer or whatever responsibilities you want her to do will not become a burden. What so, if, what if, honey, what if the wife wants you to be spiritual but not too spiritual? Want you to pray not too long? <laughs> want you to fast not too much? Want you to go to church not too much, just common so like normal wife, Christian. The wife has to actually uh, also show little interest in the spiritual, because now there must be a balance. So she should also show as though she is spiritual to him. And when she comes up, then everything runs on love basis. So when there is love, there is understanding. When there is understanding, everything balances. So when she also has to try, because she can't be telling one way also that uh, he is too spiritual. So what about you? He's expecting, he's your husband. So you have to give up. There is sacrifice in relationship because you love. So you have to show spiritual interest that you have. 
that you should show that you have a interest not by f- the way you feel but by faith you should so- you should show and it is a good thing is asking is not telling you to go and do something wrong outside is telling you to do something that is good spiritual, spiritual. please is god very good thing that he is spiritual right so why even if he is too religious or whatever why don't you come up to a level where he is pleased and why don't you change him from that point of view why don't in love you correct him and tell him what you like and things will start working in love and understanding that's very important all right do you have one something to say to that i have a question Yes, uh, 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 in this light. Uh. The vice versa. If the wife is too spiritual, uh. the husband wants maybe the wife to spend some time with yes, him. Yes, yeah. You know, and she's always talks spiritually. Yes. And says, no, no, this is not the time. Or I, what do you say about that? Okay, a very nice question. Because Tango was applying it for, to both, you know. Uh, when the wife is very spiritual, my goodness, it's a headache. It is a very serious headache. Why? Because why? Because in the history, in the history of the church, women have been run with high speed when they are spiritual, very very high speed. Now, in the history of the church, they are run with very higher speed, but they are less, more numbers of women. If you go to churches, more numbers of women. So we have come to see in from history that they are spiritually responsive. They are quick. They spiritually they respond quickly, you know. So uh, when a woman, uh, a wife, is in that place where she has to cooperate, uh, she has to humble herself because we said in the message that no matter how spiritual you are, if you are not in agreement, your prayer will be hindered. And if your prayer that you are praying, 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 you are not spending time, you are not kissing your husband. I can give the list. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. I'm in the couples meeting. If you, yes, if if it's too if it's too much for you, you put close one ear. Yes, and you should repent. Why did you marry? Yes, you should be like Mother Teresa or, or Apostle John or Apostle Peter. Are they not human beings? Didn't they please God? Why didn't you take that route? Why are you taking this route? I am making it like this. Don't let me talk too much. Uh, yes. So if you, if you are too getting too spiritual, you're not kissing your husband, you're not romancing your husband, you're not massaging him, and uh, you say, but what if my hands are paining me? They'll get healed. Come come to come to Saturday prayer line. We'll pray for it to be healed, and you will massage it. Uh, if you have injury in your hand, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm talking to those who are always complaining about their palm. Okay, not about injury. This is not injury. They say. Oh, my husband's back is big. <laughs> my hands are small. <laughs> you come to the prayer meeting, we will slap it in the mighty name of Jesus. The hands will become yes, severe. Way. So you are to be kissing, romancing, and loving, looking into his eyes as though you are young, even if you are old, you know, and talk to him the way you should. Sit close to him, hold his hands, wrap him around you, cuddle, cuddle. Do, how many of you have that book, Three Things That Make Mary Sweet? Some receive it and put it in the library. It's not for libraries, it's for marriage. It's three things that makes marriage sweet. Ah, so you cuddle, you cuddle, you cuddle, you hold. Not the girl and sister. You're watching Atmosphere of Love. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. few uh, minutes we want to spend together. We know that you will do a work in our midst that man cannot do, that simple uh, ideas of uh, people cannot do in our marriages. At the end of this meeting, we will have full cause to glorify and thank you in our homes, in our relationship with our spouses. We praise you for it, we worship you for it, in Jesus Christ's name.
more partner with us type www.worldsalvation.org and there you are in the page under donation click on eom partnership here the page displays eom online partnership you click on the right options and don't forget to click on the browse button and select your clear picture and click submit and you get a thank you response that easy to become a partner with us in preaching the gospel of the lord jesus christ that easy to watch our programs online visit our website www.worldsalvation.org on the time project click on tv programs and the tv program will display click play button you believe in your heart and then you confess with your mouth and then you are you're watching atmosphere of love coming up on atmosphere of love. in this kind of community where you forget people even names and you can watch our programs online like local tv channel you can also feel back the feedback form and get back to us don't miss any broadcast watch online atmosphere of love how many of you have that book, Three Things That Make Marriage Sweet? Some receive it and put it in the library. It's not for library, it's for marriage. It's three things that makes marriage sweet. Uh, so you cuddle, you cuddle, you cuddle, you hold. Not the brother and sister uh, embracing in church like this. <laughs> not that that. You cuddle nicely. So when all these things are there, you are cooperating. But if only prayer you want to pray and anything like kissing, like romancing, like um, spending time uh, going out, eating together, holding hands. You are saying, what, what, what is all this? Let's meditate on John 3 16. <laughs> <laughs> it is wrong meditation. That meditation is sinful meditation. So, the Pastor, is this Bible we are meditating on? It is Bible at the wrong time. It is what? Yeah, you see, Bible can, can Bible be at the wrong time? Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, to everything there is a purpose and there is a time, there is a season. Hey, Ecclesiastes chapter 3. You cannot be meditating while you are supposed to be kissing. You cannot be meditating while you are supposed to be romancing. You cannot be meditating while you are supposed to be looking into the eyes of your, of your, of your husband. You are meditating. I'm made for science and wonders. Hold that <laughs> Hold that first. There is so much time. This is just one second you just look into the eyes of your husband. You are using it to meditate. You are made for science and wonder. It doesn't work like that. So you have to cooperate. There is time for? Everything. Mm, there is time to romance. There is time to meditate. All right. So uh, uh, if you don't have any contribution or any question, then we will go ahead. We will roll, we roll on? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, next is um, the, the question goes like this. Husbands always, husband, not thank God he didn't say husbands. <laughs> thank God. Husband, husband always gets angry. What should I do? Don't make him angry. <laughs> yeah, don't make him angry. Simple. But, 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 any small thing, don't do small things. Don't do small things that make him angry. First of all, that's why you should study each other. You should know, you should know what makes him angry. So when you already know what makes him angry, so before time, before you know that you're going to do this and he's going to get angry, you can avoid it. Correct. So I don't need that answer. Maybe that's too short for you people. Or maybe, I don't know. Because this. we have taught them about this in uh, uh, marriage seminars several times that you have to understand each other. You have to know each other, how a woman is made, how a man is made, what are their nature, what are their characteristics. When a couple understand each other, study each other it becomes easy so when they are married first thing is you have to go through the school of studying each other yes so when you begin to study each other learn each other then bend down come down two of you equally you have to come down to know that okay she is like this instead of all the time correcting her in that area you can understand that she's like this so let me cooperate and encourage her in love not to do that to this is hus her. this is a uh, husband 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 always getting angry yeah mm. Husband always getting angry. So make sure whatever you do, you know normally whatever you what you do makes him angry. You are not just two months in marriage. I believe. Correct. Uh, so obviously you have to know what and all things that makes him angry in the house. 
then make sure you don't do it. So make sure you do whatever he's expecting you to do, except it's not uh, things that are not of God. Now, but one thing I have to say to the husband is that if you're getting angry, it's okay to start with, but if you are growing in the Lord, you're supposed to stop getting angry because anger is part of the work of the flesh. Work of flesh, work of flesh, you stop. If you are really growing in the spirit, if you are the spiritual husband that you claim to be, you are supposed to keep anger out. Anger is not supposed to be there. You are supposed to control anger towards demonic forces that is attacking families, that is doing this killing, stealing, and destroying. You are not supposed to show anger towards your, your spouse. You said yes to the pastor when you were standing in front. You said, yes, I do. I will love her. I will hold her. I will keep her. I will move her. I will move her. I will serve that. <laughs> you never said I will be angry uh, with her. So, but anger, example, you should. A small example in our home. <laughs> like, it's not about anger. Like, it's nothing like anger. Sometimes, you know, when he, when my husband is very hungry, you cannot uh, handle I don't wait. So I, told, I told her, I don't wait for food. Food waits for me. Ah. I'm the boss in the house, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. When we walk into the, when we just from church, we just go to the house. Things are not done. Morning, we come to church. So as soon as we enter the door, he expects food to be on the table. By the angels, so can you imagine? Initially, initially, it was like it was like irritating me because he, you, I, I was thinking that you must understand, right? We are coming together. We went together, and I have extra duties to do also children and all that. I used to think like that, but I was very smart to understand that, okay, food matter is like this. So on the way itself, I start thinking or I will ask him in a way nicely, what do you want to eat and all that. So he knows that he's, uh, that, uh, he's on my mind. So that itself makes him feel that, okay, fine, something will be ready. So as I go home, what happens? Sometimes I go to change before I will go to uh, enter the kitchen. So sometimes he's so, uh, when he's hungry, he, he seems to be irritated that, don't you understand that I'm so hungry and you're going there to change? Is that more important? So that response when I used to see those times, what I did, what, now, now what I do is I know nothing is there. So that few minutes of changing will not, and, and everybody know that I'm very fast. <laughs> ah, so, but still he gets impatient. So what I used to do is with my bag, with everything that I'm carrying, I purposely enter the kitchen. <laughs> so I used to put on the gas or put the rice on the stove so that he will, when he sees you, he should have pity on me. <laughs> but I never had pity. <laughs> yeah, because See, purpose I didn't even. No, and I don't, want, I don't want to hear any complaint. So before anybody complains, I make sure I do it. So that's one key that I use and it's working and yes. now sometimes it's now becoming understanding because he knows that he's, I know I'm responsible and I know that he's hungry. He knows that. So no problem. See, anger must stop for a spiritual minded man. Anger must stop. Now there, there's, there, I, I don't know, but then there are Christian families where the husband beat the wife. It's a shame, it is devilish, it is not of God, it's a demon. If you are part of that, you must repent, you must give yourself to God. If you are not able to stop it, you must get that devil casted out of you. You don't hit your wife, Christian man. You don't hit your wife. <clears throat> All right. Uh, then, uh, he forces me to do too much of the force, uh, I feel like going away from God. Please, now this is very serious, honey. Uh, in, 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 being spiritual at home is not able to save his soul. No, but but then, here I have to question the wife also. How can someone forcing you and you feel like going away from God? How much love do you have for God? Bible says, "Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind, with all everything you got." Now, how can what one somebody did make you feel like going away from God? So I will rebuke such, uh, I will correct sharply such. What can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus? Paul said nothing. Paul said what? Nothing. nothing. Now, I don't love God because I married my wife. And I don't love God more because I married her. 
And if she cares for me or she doesn't care for me, does it make me love God more? My love for God is one and number one for me. And it is number one in my life. And everything follows that. Now, every Christian is supposed to be like that. If you are not like that, it's just that maybe you are a babe. You are somewhere low somewhere. Yeah, Come on. Not about a growing Christian. Yeah, because because this is a it, it cannot make you feel like going away from God. No, 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 no. Husband relationship with wife cannot make you cannot affect your relationship with God. I mean, in the sense like going away from God. That is extreme. That's God my own point. My sharp rebuke. So you can go on. First before God. My. Ah, and that's what he chose here. Relationship is first before God. Marriage is first before God. That's what he chose here. No, this is a sharp rebuke for me. You can take the other side of whatever she's trying to say. I just talk about her. So you can talk about what she's actually trying to say. This we're talking about how to satisfy the human heart. Money cannot satisfy the human heart. Pleasure cannot satisfy the human heart. Comfort cannot satisfy the human heart. Nothing entirely in this world can satisfy the human heart. Jesus is the Son of God. He is the Word of God made flesh. God's Word made flesh. And He walked the earth. And He faced the things that we're facing. Passed through the difficulties that we passed through. And was without sin, the Bible says. He was without sin. He was a sinless. The seed of God's Word became flesh. And He died. On the cross for my sins and for your sins. And the Bible says, Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The name of the Lord Jesus. You can call upon that name wherever you are and you can be saved today. If you are not yet born again, we invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying this prayer. O oh Lord God, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I ask Jesus to come into my heart to be the Lord of my life. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I am saved. I am born again. I am a child of God. I now have Christ dwelling in me. I am a new creation. Hallelujah. If you have just said that prayer, congratulations, you are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by calling any of the numbers displayed on your screen or visit our website. Thank you for watching Atmosphere of Love. We know you have been blessed. To partner with us, use the details now showing on the screen. Jesus is Lord.